project 53 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this simple project by just using html css and javascript but the main focus of this project will be how we can change the clip path property by just using a javascript okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code so attention to this video i mean like in the description of this video you will find a link to my github repository so if you want to follow along so you can just download this image or you can place your own image if you want to let me just open it come on open it all right so now here you can see we have this image right here so if you want to grab the same image so you can just download them or if you want to choose your own images so that's going to be also fine all right so the first thing i would do is i'll just create a new file given name of like index.html now let's create another one given name of like style.css and then the third one will be app.js for javascript okay so now let me make it just a bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit clear all right so that's that so for html we are going to be just writing like or doc type html and here we are going to be just given name of like css clip path and name mation now let's just link it to a css file and also to our javascript file okay so now let's collapse our metadata right click on it and open with a live server so that we can see everything a bit clear all right so for html i'm not going to be writing a lot of html but i'll just write a div with a class of container so it will give us just container and no content nothing inside this okay so now let's jump right into a css and now let's just style it a bit okay so the first thing i would do is i'll just write a margin of zero and then padding of also zero box sizing will be border box and then we have a font family of sans serif okay so now let's just select our body and now let's change the color of it to like totally black save it and this is how it looks like so the final thing which you have to do is to select our container and then just style it so for styling i'm gonna just write like position of relative to it width will be 100 100 percent and height will be 100 vh and now let's just place our image like background just a background will be fine and now i'm gonna just write like url and now let's just select our image right here and it will be now set to no repeat and center okay and finally we are going to be just writing our background um size which will be set to color and finally we are going to be using a property which will be cliff path and then here we are going to be using a circle right here circle function and the first parameter we are going to be providing is 200 pixel and then add war and we are going to be creating this um variable uh, we are going to be creating this variable like uh, dash dash one inside our javascript file so you don't have to worry about it for now so then just write like war and then dash dash two save our file here you can see we have this image right here but we don't have nothing whatsoever so now let's jump right into our javascript and now let's just put our interactivity so the first thing i would do is that i will get a position so i'll just write document dot uh, document element okay so that's then now let's just uh, attach event listener on it so we are going to be using like mouse move once we mouse move so we want to just uh, call this function and now let's just write like pose dot style and now let's just set property which is the first one will be dash dash one now let's just select this one to like client um x and now let's just add or pixel right here now let's just duplicate it and now here let's just change this one to two okay and instead of x now let's just change this one to y okay so everything is perfect now let's just save our file and now here you can see we have this circle right here so whenever we move our mouse over to it so it will just show that area and it will not show us the rest of the project right here okay so if you want to add this project into your ui so that's going to be a great idea okay so here you can see it's kind of a silly project you know but also a cool one as well all right so now we are done with our project so the next thing i want to talk to you about is like if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys do know about get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so that's what i'm gonna do right now so i'm gonna just push this code into my github repository so the first thing i'll do is i'll just write a get status and we are working on all for 53 projects so now let me just add everything and now let's just write our commit for that css clip path animation yeah i guess that would be fine and now let's just push it into our github repository it will take a little bit of time because we have this high quality image right here so now let's just leave it to do its thing all right so now we successfully push our code into our github repositories so now let's just refresh our browser and now let's just search for 053 
All right, so here you can see we have this project right here. So if we click on the index.html file, we have this code. If we click on the JavaScript, so we will have this code. If we click on the CSS, so we can now access this code right here. So I guess that will be it for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.